Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode. Now yeah, it's a different game to what I said. It's only one game later in the league. And the reason is that I just I just feel like we need to look at things a bit closer. I just played the backup team in the Champions League and we won 3-0. And we were pretty comprehensive with our with our play as well. So I just feel like maybe we're a bit closer than than we realise and it just it requires a bit more tweaking and a little bit more depth of uh, us looking at it. So we're going to play the Sevilla game away. And the reason I wanted to play this game is Sevilla are third in the league. They're a good team and they're away from home, which is the kind of game that we've been struggling with, right? So at home, we're fine. It's away from home. So this is interesting. Whenever I do recreation, I never do it blind. I'm either looking at four matches that those teams play, and that's how I'm getting my recreation back in, in the games in history, or at the very least see, seen it recently. Um, and just been going back over some of the other games with Barcelona. And what's very interesting is both wingers are definitely a threat in behind as well. I think that our inside forward support here, Ansu Fati, is not doing the business in terms of making those runs in behind and being a threat. Now, you could say it's because Pedri's here, but when even when Pedri was down here, he wasn't. So I think inside forward support isn't working well enough. And I think they're both going too central too early. So... I don't quite know what to do. I'm not too bothered about this one because if he goes a bit too narrow too much, Messi did cut inside quite a lot and it also opens the wing back. So it gets us it gets us one of our outcomes out. But this side is definitely a problem. And I think that it probably has to go on an attack duty for it to make the same runs that we need it to make. Now you can't have these front four players on attack duty, so it, it becomes a balancing act of what we where we go with this, right? So we're gonna have a look at this game. We're gonna start off as it is. And we're going to tweak as we go. We're going to keep it exactly the same for the first bit. We're going to probably struggle to create any chances again against Sevilla. And again, away from home. And let's see how we do. Assistant manager says, I think we need to show everybody that the recent brace is justified. Put on a real shot there. So at the moment, I'm only looking at in possession. I think out of possession, there's only so much you can do. Unless we start man marking their pliers, which we can do to like stop this. This is just boring to watch. All right, force them into that. Good. Now, how do we set up our attack? Right back gets it. Now, let's watch the wingers. So, Gelson Martins is quite far off. He should be all the way up here, right? He should be on the last line, all the way up high and wide. But he's not. He's quite central, he's quite low, but that's okay. It's okay this side, as long as the other side it's not happening. Okay, I've just won the ball. But he's wide, I'd say, in fact, he's wider. Now, that's not too bad, because if we can get the ball through to him, if Pedri turns, he's gone for Gelson Martins for no reason. So, I don't know why he's done that, really. So Pedri gets it, well, Dion gets it there. Back to the Quar, Pedri. Now Pedri, if he opened his body, went this way, it's straight into Fatih Morel, but he doesn't, he goes that way. But even when he turns that way, I don't know why he decides that. Like, once he turns there, and he gets stuck in that scenario, once he sees that picture, in real life, I'd expect him to check his run back and then play it straight into the centre-back and retain. So is that the mentality being too high? It's definitely not the passing being too far forwards because it's on the minimum settings. Okay, force them long again. We want it back again. I don't know what's changed with the whether it's the Pedri being slightly higher, but we're definitely destroying them with that. Oh, Pedri's in. Oh, what a goal. There you go. Wow. I was concerned we weren't creating enough chances, but Pedri and Gelson Martins there have just linked up really well. What a goal this was. Pedri plays it into Gelson Martins again. He loves that pass. And it goes back to Busquets into Gelson Martins and then sees the run. And Ines has made that run time and time again that season, past when the striker was holding short. I remember actually Chavi making that run one time. I don't know if it was in that first season. I remember a specific goal he scored where um, lots of players had dropped off and he was on the running behind and nobody went with him, I guess because Chavi doesn't normally make that run. It was chipped over, he, played, he was played through and then scored. And it just summed up the magical football they were playing that season. Um, or in that period, rather. I don't know if it was that season. Okay, goal kick. I'm getting excited now every time we get the ball. Busquets. Lacroix. Bounce it, bounce it across, make the move, make the move. Don't just stay, don't just stand there on the ball though. Young has it, Pedri gets it. Pedri loves his big switches, doesn't he, which I don't like really. Which could be a role thing, he's a playmaker, isn't he? So you could change that, maybe. Plays it straight to Ansu Fati, Demir, that's it, stay on it, play it back here. Here we go, Eric Garcia. Ansu Fati beats his player, okay, that's fine. Not sure about that, but okay, Lazari has it, plays it across, that's okay, now stay on the ball. Dion, Busquets, go backwards if you need to. Pedri, that's it. Eric Garcia, Demir, going to pull out to go back if you need to. Okay, we're going to cross it. So I don't mind us crossing it time to time, but you don't want to make it so you have to cross it because you haven't got anything else set up, right? That's what you don't want. Apparently right now we've had 56% possession. I don't know how. It feels like we've had way more than that. But it's just that relentless time it takes for us to force them to go long. 
<clears throat> that I guess affects it badly for us. But we shouldn't care about that generally. That's that's the match engine. There's only so much you can fix, right? I'm not I'm not too bothered about that in some ways, but you just when you're doing a Pep Guardiola Barcelona 2008 2000 recreation, it can look good all it wants. If it's only averaging 51 percent possession, people would, it's just it's just not gonna it just doesn't sit well, does it? It doesn't it doesn't I don't care what you say. It doesn't sit well, does it? Whether it's realism or the match engine or whatever. So. We have to at some point as well beat what the system we're playing, which is now don't let him go back. There you go, what I meant this, that's better. Got a free kick here. He should play this short. He does. De Jong to Lazari. Back to De Jong. Pedri's got a bit of space. He continues with it, plays it across. What a goal. 2-0 to Barcelona. Gelson Martins was starting to play some really good football here. They fouled us and we got the ball and we actually did play it short from the set piece, which shows that the set piece is, I think, into line with your philosophy can help as well. Pedro plays it across, Gelson Martins, 2 0 Barca. I don't mind Gelson Martins this side, like he's got an assist and scored. It's not this side that's the problem, it's the far side. And having him on a support duty, I think he's got to go on attack duty, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to look ridiculous, isn't it? You, you want to go two of those. Let's go inverted winger attack. Let's try that. I don't like the look of that. I don't like having all the front four on attack duties. I really don't. But the benefit to it is they will press the back line a lot more aggressive across the ball. So that's one. That's the benefit to it. The downside is that they may not look to retain the ball as much, but they're not really the problem, you know? Like, once they get into certain areas, you want them to go exploit the space. If, if Gelson Martins has played through on goal, I don't want them to deliberately come back and switch to the back line. The space is there. That's what you play. You play to score. Okay, free kick. Yusuf Demir. Anti Fati on inverted winger attack. Now that's the problem with the winger duties and roles on the manager is they dribble with it too much. Um, for my liking. But that's it's in the name, winger. Like I do get that though, but it's it's like well if you okay, if you want to recreate the unreal messy roles, it's hard to have them do those movements and retain the ball because they just want to dribble with it because they've got a winger setting, right? So it's it's difficult to to recreate these things. The only thing I could think of is making him a wide mid This is what I did originally. Wide midfielder attack. Because on wide midfielder attack, there are no presets um, when it comes to dribbling. It allows you to recreate exactly what you want. But then they press a lot deeper because their wide midfielders not like wingers. So, uh, yeah. Watching Sevilla just hold on to the ball. Look at this. It's boring. It's boring. Okay, I've just changed the tempo to really low. It hasn't happened yet. We're on the attack right now. This is better. Look, this is actually pretty good. But once we build it up, we're actually looking pretty good, which is why I don't want to change too much. But I'm just seeing times when the certain players get the ball, we're just we're too forward thinking with it and we don't retain. That's why we end up with poor possession because other teams will just hold on to it and go nowhere and keep getting set pieces and throw-ins and corners. But the uh, that's why they get more possession. Like Anthony Fatty, that doesn't really need to cross that. <clears throat> we have work into box on. We also have inside forward this side with cross less often. Pre-selected, that's better. There you go, Lazari. Good, De Jong, there we go. Now use Bus. Oh, I could use Busquets there. You could move Busquets to a support duty, which would make him, I think, more realistic for what he did in possession, but out of possession, he wouldn't defend the same way. So, okay, I've just put hold on to ball for both wingers now as well. So, it'll be interesting to see how that plays. We've got lower, t the much, um, much lower tempo is now selected, and both wingers now have, or wide players have, hold on to ball selected. I'll just play it. Why would you not play that short? He gave it to you as well. Our first look then with us on new tempo and the new wingers. So they go straight into Ansu Fati, Demir. Okay, stay on it, that's fine. There's no rush with the ball. There's no rush with the ball. De Jong. Just taking, there we go, that's better. Eric Garcia. Stay on it, nice and easy. Ansu Fati. Why are you taking him on? There we go, Lacroix. Demir. De Jong. Do we need to do that? And um, why is he taking the player on? Just on the ball. You saw my set piece settings, you would see pass short, options to come short. He had two options there and decided to play neither of them and just swung it in the box for no apparent reason. Nelson Martins, better. There we go. Nothing's on, just stay on it. That was better, wasn't it? Memphis, Lazari, there we go. It's really hard because you don't want to overload the settings so they just never exploit the space when it's on, but you need to be able to make sure that your team uh, doesn't just go backwards. For the love of God, Lazari there, just play it to the centre back. I don't mind him whipping that one in because it's actually in a pretty good area. But the one back here was ridiculous. Okay, centre-backs are going to get pressed here by the wingers. Get onto him. That'll do. Good. Pressure on. Go on to the centre-back striker. I don't need you pressing. They're bloody midfielders. 
Offside. It was easily offside. Get on with the game. Apparently it was not offside. That was a really well-timed run. So, 2-1. I think maybe De Jong doesn't need to be a deep-line playmaker. I don't know what to make him, though. Because, like, right now he's playing like a double pivot. Right now he's playing like a double pivot here with Busquets, and you don't need that. He needs to be slightly further forward than that, I think. Although the right back's there. So the right back, so that right now they're not really doing... Martin needs to either sort of be in this sort of space here or up here and let... They're right in each other's way. I don't want to mess with his settings because he's been doing pretty well. I'm going to stay wide on him. Because he might end up like out here and it might make Lazari stay deeper. It brings in the possibility of making Lazari a complete wingback support instead of an attack duty. He was in there then. I don't know why he wouldn't make his run. The one time it opened up for him to make the run, he then holds it. The right back, that is. Foot manager. Okay. <clears throat> We've got the maximum pressing settings on. For no apparent reason, I've got my striker marking their central midfielder who's here, Delaney. I've got two central midfield players, a defensive midfield player, and a central midfield player marking nobody, and he goes on to him, and they don't go on to him. Why is he not pressing the centre back, and why are they not marking him? It's so simple. It's so simple. Move on. To, well, that's not as bad, but get off him. See, in, in real life, this is what I would say here. You fucking get on the centre backs. You move on up to this pivot player here. And Busquets, you're marking nobody. Get on to him. There's already two versus one here. We're fine. And you need to be goal side of him, Azara. I don't know what you're doing. Apologies for my annoyance coming out. Now you can see the coach side coming out of me. And the striker here, I would say, get on to their centre back to stop them playing around. Like, ignore the fucking pivot. Get on there. Stop playing around. Navas has it. Lamella. They can play back to Navas, force the mistake. Well done, that was better. Once, we, once they get into here, we're doing slightly better. But here, it's, it's an absolute disgrace. It's definitely a match-changing problem, that is. It's got to be. Um, Gelson Martins, absolutely unnecessary, Gelson Martins. I hope some of you read the commentary there. It says, Lacroix assesses his options, right? So, he's got bang, bang. If he wants to risk it, he could do one of these. He could play it straight into a Pedri, who's in a... But this is something that Thierry Henry said about Pep on the Sky Sports analysis he did years ago, which was really good. He was saying that, that when Pep went to Barcelona, he made like a... One of his sessions, he made like a T-shape, so like down here and then across there. And he said to Xavi and Iniesta that you need... You should never, both of you, be on the same side of that like line down the centre of the pitch. You need to be spread out and allow the team, trust the team to get the ball to you. So what Pedri's doing here is he's come all the way across into the wrong side he doesn't need to be there like De Jong could be here and Pedri could be over here and we could be going out in through like there's so much better balance we could have with this this uh, this attack so what we're going to do here is I'm now going to make him I think hold position and see if that affects that because then Lacroix assesses his options decides that's the best option he's gonna he's got and does that I'm I'm furious right now with some things I'm seeing but here we go, De Jong. Oh, it's a free kick straight away. We need to make better use of the free kicks. Like, has to be played short. Don't clear this. You've got him straight there if you need to. Why are you whipping it in? So when it's direct on free kicks here, you cannot change it. It says mix is the only option, right? So that is that. But every other one's so direct, small chance of short, all of these. Everything's set to short, as you can see, with multiple options. Multiple options. Wide. Short. Okay, well, found the issue. This one's, uh, this one's on me, Sports Interactive. Yeah, this one is uh, not the match engine. This is me. Right, to Stegen's guy. Here we go. This is exactly what we're looking for. So Pedri's gone up. Almost in line with the striker. That's why I don't like him in that attacking slot as well sometimes, though. Busquets. Now Pedri needs to stay in his position. There he goes. He's offering it. He's offering it if you want him. He's still there. Young, Lacroix, Lacroix. Busquets, who's in a better position. Pedri, Ansu Fati, but that was a bit of a risky pass, unnecessary, unnecessarily as well. Eric Garcia, that's better. Back to the Sagan. Here we go. Stay on the wall. Don't force anything. Now, so now we've got to stay wider on Gelson. All they've done is they're occupying the same space, right? So we're making progress with at least what our options are. So now what I'm thinking here is you're too high. So now do we just drop Lazari back as an orthodox uh, wing back from now on? Because like, let's see. He tried to play it to the right, but there was no option there. So that's good. I think that's actually a good thing because that means either we need to change his role and duty or his positioning there. Long time I'd eventually love to get it back into an orthodox 4-3-3 shape, but until that happens, uh, I'm just going with what I think works as, as we go pretty much. But that's, that's going to be potentially a good thing for us. I should stop them getting free easy goals on this side as well. It might not make the precedent as good. 
Okay, Lacroix to Stegen. Eric Garcia. Eric Garcia to Lacroix. Lacroix is on it. De Jong. De Jong to Lacroix. So now looking at this side, you can see now they're not in the same space anymore. But they're still pretty... Like, that pass there has got a high risk of him just intercepting it. So it's not really on there. But he's now making more intelligent decisions to go back and get on the ball. So it could go to the right back if you wanted it to. There we go. Now it does. Gelson Martins. Who then tries to take him on and gives it away. Now it's a throw into us. Now this should be short. Yep, Gelson stays on it. Aqua. Aqua to Lazari. Lazari to Aqua. Go that way. Go this way. Okay, now where's Pedri? Get into some space here, Pedri. Get on the ball. There you go, Pedri. Eric Garcia. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather you turn with that, but that's okay. We've built up a good attack here. Gelson Martins makes a terrible decision, but we're going to stay on it. Aqua. And that's the end of it. Okay. Gonna say not happy. We're going to go one up on the tempo. For the love of God, can somebody press the centre back? He's pressing forward. The pressing forward attack. Now, the problem with man marking specific players is you have to then do it every game because if they change formation, it changes who they mark, which can really fuck up your, your defensive system. So I'm going to put Memphis to play the striker here just to man mark the middle centre back. So hopefully in a game he just picks one and he just does it. So I want to do it so it's as plug and play as possible, right? I don't want to have to do this every game. Well, I personally can't bother to do that every game. and I definitely don't think people downloading it would want to. Um, I want to provide this for the community really as well. The personal satisfaction is obviously there, but I want to be able to provide it for the community as well. Lacroix, come across, come across this way. Okay, fine, Dion, I'll take that. Oh, this is better, Dion. Oh, I forced a corner, I guess. Zari, Dion, Lacroix, better. We're actually retaining it. We're retaining, we're not really getting through though. Pedri gives it away. Pedri as well, I'm not really sure about. The advanced playmaker there isn't, I don't think, the answer. Can we get back to an orthodox shape now? Can we go to this? Let's try that. Pedri now becomes a Mazala. We're going to fire up. We're also going to take off that useless person. I'm going to put Pats and Dakar as a striker, I think. And the pie can go wide. Better. Well done, Pats and Dakar. Gelson Martins. Here we go, Lazari. Pats and Dakar. Pats and Dakar to Gelson Martins. Plays in a no. Plays an unnecessary cross there. What is his settings on? Do he have more risky passes on? He does. Okay, so. My last sort of attempt at avoiding going to man marking is this. I'm going to put Pedri as a shadow striker. Now, I do know the shadow striker on maximum settings does normally go and press the, uh, the centre back. So, by doing that, I'm going to put Depay as a winger attack and see how that plays. In fact, make him wide midfielder attack. Let's go stay wider. You can tackle harder. You can cross less often. Pass shorter, take, uh, we'll do that. We'll leave it like that for now. We've got pretty well there, Memphis Pedri. Pedri to Busquets. Busquets to Pedri. Eric Garcia. Demir. Pedri. Daka. Gelson Martins. Eric Garcia. Demir. Memphis Pedri. Not bad little movements there. That's actually quite like on rerun. He was staying wide, then he went into that half space, tried to attack it late. Okay, we'll like that. Eric Garcia. But that's good to the Sagan. The Qua. And he's Busquets. Gonna stay on it for ages, okay. De Jong, Gelson. Gelson plays a terrible ball in to Stegen. Eric Garcia. What do we think with the shape here? I mean, De Jong has come almost centrally over Busquets. He needs to be on his side. Now, he's almost doing the other problem to what Pedri was doing. So, he's already got whole position on. Stay wider. Try that on him. Memphis, Memphis to Pedri, Pedri to De Jong, Busquets, Pedri, Memphis, Memphis, Pedri, Pedri, here's where the free kick. I'm going to put the tempo back up as well to what it was originally. There we go then, De Jong, Lacroix, Lacroix to Eric Garcia, Eric Garcia tries to force it through, why would you force it Eric? Okay, so that has to be because of the tempo going back up. Let's keep Pedri what he was as an advanced playmaker. 
And then the, the, oh, the Chavi roll is so hard, isn't it? I mean, if you're going to use Buzz Gets as that, he can't be that because he plays as it a double pivot then. So it's... Let's try this and try and get De Jong away from being a double pivot. Roman Playmaker isn't what I would... If you read the description, that isn't what I don't think Chavi really was, but it might work better. Okay, we're going to free kick. Wagway into De Jong, into Gelson Martins. Gelson Martins on the outside. Here's the Wagway. Wagway's now going to cross it to the far post, keep it collected. Now, hopefully, we've got enough players up here to stop them playing out. They have to go long. Yeah, they're going to go long. I mean, the second ball. He was going to get it good. Okay, let's rebuild the attack. Then what we got. So, instantly, De Jong still comes back as a double pivot. That's interesting. He's, now he's getting out a little bit, but he's still pretty much there. Memphis is going wide. I actually like the way Memphis is playing. That was terrible from Busquets. But I actually like the way that he's playing in possession. But like, out of possession here, look, look at him. He's defending the fullback. Uh, the winger, sorry. Not, he's not going on to the fullback. Oh, I don't want to go to man marking. Yeah, they just got a player sent off. Okay, well, I think that's going to pretty much end the uh, experiment here of what I was trying to do because now that I'm determined, we should be able to go on and win this. If we don't, I'd be really disappointed. So I'm going to just play it into like key highlights and probably go to my attacking tactics. We want to make sure we win the game now. But, uh, but yeah, I'll see you. But let's carry on like as if it was like a normal game at this point. Oh, well, somehow we didn't manage to win. I don't understand it. There's no more highlights. Disappointing. Um, yeah, learn, learn a lot. Well, we got a lot of information in terms of we, we learned a lot, but we didn't really come to any concrete conclusions. So, but I mean, I actually really like the way that this player linked up from this position here. Okay, so for the next game, it's going to be this. I've got my marking for the left midfielder here to be on the right back and for him to be on a centre back. And I didn't really want to do that, but I had to do it, I feel like, to stop them playing out. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to keep the tempo the same because I feel like we did score the two goals with it as it was. And then once we lowered it, they looked slightly better making decisions. But let's see if the combination of the roles and duties makes it slightly easier for them to get the ball through. Um, but uh, but yeah, the next game's not for 21 days till we play Salta Vigo. And um, I think we're going to keep coming back, you know. Do you know what? I, you know, I feel like we're just going to keep coming back. I'll see you in 21 days for the Salta Vigo game in the next episode. And we'll go around with you. We'll just keep going through for now. Because I, I don't feel like we're ready enough yet to keep clicking through. But uh, anyway, I hope you're enjoying the series. And I hope you're enjoying what we're doing here. Let's have a quick look at the stats of that game before we finish, actually. Terrible possession. Uh, passes completed. We have to fix them having the ball. I think that's the biggest thing. And also set pieces. They committed 26 fouls. That's 26 times we had a free kick. And a lot of times we just gave it away at the start until we fixed that. So that's definitely a point of contention. We created okay chances away from home. Three half chances, one clear cut. I expect it to be quite low. If we do fix it and we get the possession of passes and everything up, I don't think we're going to create that many chances with the match engine. So we have to accept that to a degree. But, uh, but yeah, uh, that's how the stats looked for the game. And that is going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. We are still top of the league until Romaja play their game. And I think they'll then go top on goal difference because we drew the first game. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.